So, here's what grinds my gears about game developers. Basically, was looking over, going to the shower, I went from my pot my eye when Chris was doing an article that there was a game called. What is a game called? Oh my god. Called Valiant, I think. Yep. Was it Valiant? Valorant. Valorant. I can't even spell. Uh, Valorant. Uh, they were showing off these game skins, in which they were all a dragon series, and one of them was very sexy on a rifle, seeing a dragon curled up and looked very mean. But uh, when checking that over. Uh, Chris was telling me, oh yeah, you know, that looks nice, but uh, that's a hundred dollars. Not in game. Not in game currency, no, that's actual, real life, one hundred dollars for a skin pack of dragons for your guns. And that really ticks me off from one point of view. Fair enough, you know, it's game developers' ways to try and earn a buck back from making the game and developing the game but I just find it annoying that it comes to these days where the only way you're gonna get by with anything is behind a paywall and that fucking sucks I miss the days where you know if you want a certain item or a certain skin you've got to earn it Instead of just seeing a paywall that says, hey, you want this exclusive lightsaber, or this exclusive sword, or this costume, or that? Yeah, you pay us real fucking money. I hate that. I really hate that. And especially when it came to, like, Kingdom Hearts. I didn't like that. Oh, here's the second episode for this game in which we've been working on for so long, in which, to be honest, again, shouldn't have been a DLC. Yeah, 40 bucks. Was it 60? I can't remember. But it's that paywall, it really irks me so fucking much and this is why I just lose so much respect for them. I mean, the game may look pretty and everything, but at the same time, if you're putting up paywalls for specific items, then it's more of a, ugh. You know, I like the old-fashioned way where you have to earn it and grind for it and then say, Oh, I am that desperate for this, I will give you $100 now. <sighs> you know, it's like with Red Dead Redemption on the line. Now, right now, me and my mate, we're playing that game. And a lot of the time, there are some stuff where they say, Oh, yeah, you got to use gold to unlock certain things, like the moonshine business or the moonshine shack which costs 25 gold bars how do you get gold bars well you have to play through the game and it only gives you like a small fraction of nuggets in which goes up into gold bars so it gives you like maybe 5 to 16 gold nuggets and then during that span then you know it builds up to gold bars and gold bars build up to the specific amount you need and then you can unlock it that way but what oh, what grinds me, it's that, even with that, there are some weapons, some costumes that says, Oh, you can buy this right now with a hundred gold bars. How would you get the hundred gold bars? You can either play with it, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, or, if you're really that desperate, we have a pack of 250 gold bars for maybe 50, 60 bucks. Buy it. Paywalls are a bitch. They really are a bitch. And there was another game then uh, with Revelation, Resolution Online, I think it was called. I can't read my handwriting for shit. But they've recently pulled up a uh, new patch in which you can get married in their game. But here's a catch it's only for straight people. Now, that one is a bit of a irk with me there because 
we don't get that many characters supporting the LGBTQ community, and it sucks seeing that, you know, there's only a limited amount of games in which allow you to have same-sex marriage. I meant, 14, you are permitted to have same-sex marriage in-game, which is fantastic. You know, you can have the free package or you can spend to get higher ups and get more rewards for it. But, I don't see why other games decide to think, hey, you know, you can get married in the game, but your avatars best be a man and a woman. Love is love, for Christ's sake, come on. Not to mention as well, the game that is being developed is with Russia and China, so that's kind of a Joan Crawford bitch slap of double, where it's like, <laughs> slap you twice in the face. I mean, that sucks. More games should be permitted, especially online games, you know. You can see there is more out there than just love with a man and a woman. There's man on man, woman on woman. But, uh, no. Games are just trying to you know, block away the diversity and just say, this is strictly what it is. This is what it is, this is what it's meant to be. You can't have it any other way. To that I say, love is love, diversity for all. <sighs> and it's quite warm here because I'm making a lot of toast for my man. He likes the toast. Do you want butter on your toast, hon? Yes, please. Okie dokie. So back from town, and my god. I haven't used that scooter in a while. But I am fucking... Oh, I got a headache. So... I went to do a trade-in to see if I can get the new Sword Art Online game, but unfortunately they didn't have it in stock and it was pre-order. Only. So, I ended up doing the trade-in and getting it on a PlayStation Store card, so I can just install it that way. And it's like, what, 1.30 now and I'm in at 4? Fuck, I am just bored out of my tit. I'm on my way into work, because I've got an hour, so... 4 till 9.45 tonight. Hopefully at the same time... Oh, nice cool breeze, I like that. Hopefully at the same time, I'm gonna <sighs> see if I can get a bit of food in me and also as well pick up the TV stand. I've saved up for it for the last three, four weeks now. I've done some calculations and found out with my discount, I'm gonna get it for around about $120. How I'm gonna get it home though, I don't know. I'll have to double check and see. I think most probably whoever I'm closing with would be more than gracious enough if I was to most probably get a lift with them and well I could just push it up the stairs myself. But then after that then I got a contact with my TJ because he's interested in my old TV stand. Well our old TV stand, I gotta find out a price in that. We're gonna slap that as and help him with that one day. Take that down to his place and then what do you call it? Put my new one together. Basically, I'm just going to be a fucking bag of shits that day. I had a headache. Work was just fucking ridiculous, and which I'm going to talk about later. Uh, or sometime tomorrow. Because I'm working one to nine, eight hours of random shit. But i got to get up early tomorrow because I bought me a TV stand. And it's sitting in the fucking car. And I have to lump it up two flights of stairs. But I'm going to do that tomorrow because right now I've got a bit of a killer. I'm going to go and get some sleep, if I can. Let's see if this headache, the back of my head can go away. Just like a tension headache again. That's great. But thank you guys for watching today's little video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Again, I apologise, these videos are small. It's just... Uh, but if you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to hit that like button. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand spanking new day, and hopefully... It'll be better than the rest. Until then, take it easy, guys.